Welcome back, y'all. Today we're gonna to be talking about small claims court. This is something I don't do very much of because the entire point of it, the entire design, is to allow people to more easily represent themselves with no attorneys in the process. So we're gonna give you just a little bit of an overview, kind of give you some information on the small claims court system. This might be the first of a two-part video series. If you guys like this one, go ahead and let me know that you want me to do another one. Or we'll invite somebody on, maybe do some Q&A about kind of how the small claim system works. Anyway, go ahead and hit a like and subscribe. Let's get started. So here's your roadmap. We've got three areas to talk about today, basically corresponding to when, where, and how. So first of all, when is it appropriate to go to small claims court? Second of all, once you've decided to go to small claims court, how do you get there? And third, once you've done all of that, where is your small claims court located? So let's get right into the first one. When is it appropriate to go to small claims court? By Texas law, the small claims courts have jurisdiction over claims that are $20,000 and down. Meaning if your dispute is for greater than $20,000, you're not getting into small claims court. Now, some people think that they can be clever by, oh, well, I have a $21,000 dispute. I'm just gonna sue for $20,000 and then I can get into small claims court. It does not work that way. If the actual amount in dispute is more than $20,000, you're in district court or county court or wherever else, but you're not in small claims court. You'll note that this $20,000 limitation for small claims is very prominently displayed on the JP page for bear.org, which is what I've thrown up on the screen just here. Spoiler alert, that's who handles small claims. Let's not get there yet. Our second question is, suppose you've decided you wanna to go to small claims court, you've made that decision. Well, how do you get there? You click this button that says small claims form. After you do that, it brings up a two page PDF that has party information, information about the dispute, has a place for you to write in your claims, attach evidence, all of that kind of thing. It's much more user friendly, much more conducive to the individual who wants to represent himself or herself and doesn't necessarily wanna bring an attorney in. It's appropriate to note at this point that there are some fees involved with your small claims court case. It is not, as some people are under the impression, free or nearly free to file in small claims court. While it is a hell of a lot cheaper than somewhere like district court or county court, to say nothing of the lawyering and procedural maneuvering that can happen in those places that doesn't really happen in small claims court, the filing fees are not $5, something you should be aware of. Third and final question today, which is where do you file your small claims case? I'm gonna put the Bear County JP page up again, and you'll note, as I said before, there are four of these Justice of the Peace precincts in Bear County. If you go to this button on the bottom left of the JP page, which says, which precinct am I in community map? This will bring up a nice big GIS display and you pick your address. What I've gone ahead and done here is dropped a pin on the map for my office address, which is fine because it's all over my website anyway. So y'all can come visit me, uh, but make an appointment first. Now, if you click a location on this site, it's gonna bring up a whole list of elected officials along the bottom. So what you wanna do is find the one that says county and then start scrolling down until you see justice of the peace. And it's gonna say precinct something. Now, whatever that is, you go back to the Bear County Justice of the Peace site that we were on just a minute ago, and you find the address for whatever precinct that is, and then you go there and file your lawsuit. So that's it for today. That's your overview of small claims court. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying what we're putting out here. In the bottom right-hand corner of your YouTube screen, please click the bell icon. It'll give you alerts anytime there's a new video or that kind of thing. If there's another topic that you want to see, shoot me an email or drop it in the comments below. Thank you guys again, and we'll see you next time.